In today's video, we're going to answer a question that many people have been asking us. Should I make a dedicated circuit for my air fryer? Yes, it's recommended to make a dedicated circuit for your air fryer if you use it frequently or if you have other appliances that draw a lot of power. Let's move on to the concept of a dedicated circuit. A dedicated circuit is a circuit that is specifically designed to power a single appliance or device. This means that the circuit is not shared with any other appliances or devices in your home. There are a few reasons why you might want to make a dedicated circuit for your air fryer. Firstly, air fryers can draw a lot of power when they're in use. If you're using other appliances at the same time, you might find that you trip a circuit breaker. Making a dedicated circuit for your air fryer will ensure that you don't have to worry about this. Secondly, having a dedicated circuit for your air fryer can improve its performance. When an appliance shares a circuit with other devices, it can sometimes experience a drop in power or voltage. This can affect its cooking time and temperature, which can lead to unevenly cooked food. So, how do you make a dedicated circuit for your air fryer? Well, the first thing you'll need to do is check your electrical panel to see if you have any available circuits. If you do, you can simply install a new outlet and connect it to the circuit. If you don't have any available circuits, you'll need to install a new circuit breaker in your electrical panel. This should be done by a licensed electrician to ensure that it's done safely and correctly. In conclusion, while you don't necessarily have to make a dedicated circuit for your air fryer, it's definitely something to consider if you use your air fryer frequently or if you have other appliances that draw a lot of power. Not only will it improve the performance of your air fryer, but it will also ensure that you don't have to worry about tripping a circuit breaker. That's it for today's video, I hope you found this information helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for watching Electricity Frenzy.